cannot work. So we work every day with an urgency on our heart, with a compassion for people who are lost, people who are on that broad road to destruction. We want to pray with you and get you on the narrow road. And on that narrow road, it's not always easy, but it is a beautiful experience because you have the spirit of the living God on the inside of you and upon you, thank you, and upon you to bring you into the image of God, to change and renew your mind, to get you walking in the spirit as he is in the spirit, walking in the light as he is in the light. We no longer have that spirit of death and condemnation on us, but we have the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free. It set us free from the law of sin and death. Because without Jesus Christ, you are under the law of sin and death. And there's only one way out, one way through, one way to get you a pass to heaven. That is Jesus Christ living on the inside of you. But you have to ask him. I will not approach anybody. You have to approach me and ask to have Jesus into your heart. It's all about you and your free will. God will not impinge upon your free will and your free will can take you all the way unfortunately to the pit of hell or it can take you to heaven it's up to you people so we thank god that jesus has taken our punishment and given us forgiveness in the eyes of god and jesus who was rich he was rich jesus was in heaven he was seated at the very throne of glory and he left heaven to come to this smelly place called earth to suffer pain, to suffer embarrassment, to suffer all those things, shame. He did that for us. He was rich in every way. Jesus Christ needed and wanted nothing. He was ultimately divinely prosperous. But he came to this earth, he who was rich, yet for our sakes, he became poor. Why? That we might become rich. It's a beautiful thing. We are able to prosper in all things because of Jesus Christ. So it brings us to the point of sinfulness. Our entire being, when we're born of Adam, we have a sinful nature. Our nature likes to sin, wants to sin, get satisfaction out of sin and never wants to be subject to the law of God. It cannot be. It cannot be subject to the law of God. It's in enmity, the Bible says, to the spirit. And the spirit is in enmity to the flesh, to the sinful nature. They'll never get on. One has to be destroyed. As a Christian, the sinful nature is the one that will be buried, that will be crucified with Jesus. And the spirit-filled Christian has Christ on the inside, Jesus living on the inside, Christ in me, the hope of glory. That's what today is about, people, giving up the sinfulness of the sinful nature. Jesus took it upon himself and he gave us in return his righteousness. Think about this closely. The image is Jesus standing there, holy, without sin, spotless, no blemish, the robes, pure white robes of righteousness upon him. And for us, he gave it up. He takes off the sinful robes upon us and he puts his robes of righteousness. There's an exchange, a divine exchange, and we can stand before God, holy, righteous all because of Jesus so that's it today people we could talk a long long time about this there is so much about what Jesus has done on the cross the basis of it is open your heart to him today he is faithful he will come in he will wash away your sin he will give you new life and you will be born of his spirit you will become a child of God and as a child, you will be an heir, 
a joint heir with Christ. And you will have an inheritance, an amazing divine inheritance. And people don't realize how good that is. Now we're going to sign off now because there are people walking by who need to pull up and pray and get their heart right with God. It's for every person. So we're opening the invitation now to Chatswood on this Friday afternoon for people to be saved. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.